There's been a lot of interest in the video that I made about the 15 methods that I use to keep this greenhouse warm. But I thought I should mention one more way. And it's a method that I used in the greenhouse that I had before this one. And that was just kind of a traditional kit greenhouse. But it's chilly out here, so let's step inside. So my old greenhouse, the one that was here before this one, was uh, made from uh, two traditional uh, Pelram greenhouses. Uh, they were two six foot by eight foot greenhouses. And uh, what I did was I built a raised bed that was six foot by 16 feet long and had stairs up on each end. And then there was a narrow uh, path in the middle of this raised bed with a, you know, basically had a big raised bed in the middle. And so then I built these two Pelram greenhouses on top of the raised bed. So right off the bat, there's kind of like a thermal sink going on with all that soil up in those raised beds. Then I uh, went to uh, the local transfer station and they had um, water barrels that they were, you know, giving away uh, from the, I think it was from the, the water company here in town. So I got two free barrels and I put them in the greenhouse on either end uh, of that big raised bed. I filled them up with water and I covered them with black uh, trash bags, contractor bags. Now by itself, uh, that's going to do something. Uh, the, the thermal mass of those barrels would be collecting heat because of the black uh, contractor's bags on them and they would collect solar energy and they would act kind of like a like a thermal sink, a thermal battery. But the thing that I did that really worked out pretty well in that greenhouse was I got two submersible bucket heaters. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. I then hung these submersible uh, water heaters in those two barrels. And so even though these greenhouses weren't insulated, the soil always stayed around the upper 30s or the low 40s when it was really cold outside. And if you're trying to grow cold weather vegetables like uh, brassicas or lettuces, things along those lines, you just really need to keep the soil from freezing. Uh, and so I have I found that that system worked and I used it for years uh, to keep my greenhouse warm. So if you don't have the option of kind of rebuilding your greenhouse and putting in a geothermal system or whatever, uh, using thermal mass in whatever shape or form that you can, in that instance it was water, but whatever you can do to store heat in your greenhouse will make a huge difference. And I found that those little submersible water heaters worked great. And the uh, submersible heater would, would keep the water from freezing and thereby radiating the heat from the water barrel into the surrounding raised beds. I think that's probably one of the keys in that situation is having the raised beds up against the water heater. So there you have it. Um, there's one more way for you to keep your greenhouse warm enough to keep uh, cold weather vegetables. If you have any questions about that method or the other methods that I've used to keep my greenhouses warm, hit me up in the comments.